What's going on everybody? It's your boy Spencer. So recently I actually got the ability um, to post you guys on YouTube and one of the things I sent out is what deck have I not played yet that you would like to see me play and also it's been in the comments a few times people have been wanting me to be checking out the cyber dark cards and honestly I've, I'd watched a few gameplay videos over the past few months and I was like wow this is actually not that good in my opinion uh, but that doesn't mean that it still can't be um, used in other ways and you know instead of having a cyber dark deck it's like you know the cyber monsters are great like the you know the fusion monsters it's just the main deck cards they didn't really focus on it all which ended up being the problem but it is all about equipping and dragoonity fits that mold perfectly so i found this combo in a farfa video although i altered it a little bit because i didn't understand how the the replay did it and there were a few jump cuts and everything so I kind of reconstructed the hand, and then I'm going to show you the combo step by step so you understand it more. But yeah, um, Cyberdark has some really cool stuff in there, and I'll show you the idea. Like as I've been, you know, been making this video, or like as I was getting prepped for it, I actually kind of actually understood what the point of the combo was, and like, you know, what you're trying to do when you go through pieces. Because I'm going to go through Sarayuja, so this isn't like a combo that you can technically recreate. It's always going to be different. It's a really complicated deck, of course, but I'll do my best to explain to you everything that's going on. And of course, I'll explain the card by card. So we'll go ahead and activate cards of consonant. This is one of the best cards I think that you can put in Dragoonity. You just got to discard a Dragon Tuner with a thousand lesser attack and draw two cards. Also, dumping stuff like Coos in the graveyard is super good because you get to equip it. And of course, that's always a free special summon. A non once per turn special summon is always an amazing thing. Okay, so we're going to pitch it. So this is like really close to the video that I found. Like this is kind of where it starts. Um, but yeah, we can now normal summon edge. So Cyber Dark Edge, we're finally getting to the Cyber Dark stuff here. Uh, you can target a level three or lower dragon monster in your graveyard, equip it to this card. So that is super duper crazy. Like that is why this deck works in the first place. You're going to be equipping Dragoonities, you know, with your Cyber Dark monsters, which and then turns you advantage. Because otherwise, when you... Uh, you know just have normal cyber dark stuff it it's just you're equipping another cyber dark and boom it's like wow hopefully this is able to be good enough which of course 99 percent of the time in today's modern Yu Gi Oh is not uh, but okay so we're going to go ahead and equip that um you know dragoon it doesn't have to be a cyber dark monster as i just you know talked about the text and then coos uh, i kind of talked about what this card does but you know if it's currently equipped to a monster special summon it it's also a level two tuner which is very silly, although it can only use for secret materials of Dragoonity, but as you'll see, like, okay, who cares? It, that really, really does not matter. All right, so now we can activate the effect of Legatus. If you control a Dragon Bean or Dragoonity monster, it's a free special summon from the hand. You can only use that effect once per turn, but that's perfectly okay. We only need to use it one time. All right, so now we can go ahead and convert these two into a Dragoonity Knight Luin. So if this card is special summon, you can target a Dragoonity monster in your graveyard, equip it. And if it's sent to the graveyard, you can target a Dragoonity monster control equipped to this um, target. It gains a thousand attack and defense. Um, so way later down the line in the combo, you want to equip this thing to give a little bit of attack. Like that's literally the only reason for it. But okay, we're going to activate the effect of Luin, equipping the Coos. Coos once again is going to special summon itself. And now we can convert these two into a Romulus. Romulus searches Dragoonity spells and traps, which that's what you need to know. Although I think it also has an effect when equipped, like it gains a little bit of attack. But yeah, you don't need to know that effect or any of the other effects, basically. Just know that it searches Dragon Ravine. You already have one in your hand, but you actually, like multiple copies of Ravine is not a bad thing at all. You will use this card multiple times during your turn. All right, so we're going to activate the effect of Dragoonity Divine Lance, which was in the opener. You can only equip a Dragoonity monster. It gains attack equal to its level, blah, blah, blah. And unaffected by trap effects for whatever reason. But it lets you equip, uh, equip, equip a Dragon-type Dragoonity Tuner monster from deck um, you know, to the monster, which is super sick because, of course, you know you can grab something like a Phalanx. Same effect as the Coos to special summon when it's equipped, non once per turn. Not even like, it's just literally like, you, as long as it's equipped, you can special summon it every time. It's not like, oh, you can only activate one effect of Phalanx, or if you have multiple Phalanx or multiple Kooses equipped at the same time, it doesn't matter. They can all special summon. All right, so convert those two and go into a Christian Holly Firebrax. So in the beginning, it looks like you're doing some really weird loose, but slowly but surely, you're getting a tremendous amount of advantage because we're going to be able to special summon another Koos. And I, it's going to go over that you know scenario I was just talking about because now you're going to go into your first um, Barka. This card lets you sync when you know when it's synchro summon. You can target any number of dragon dragoonity monsters in your graveyard and equip it to this card. 
You will be activating this card multiple times. This is not even a once per turn. Um, so none of these Dragoonity cards are, obviously. And now we can just equip Coos, Phalanx, and another Coos. And they're all going to special summon themselves. So one, two, and three. All right, fantastic. And this is where you start digging for your deck because the ultimate goal is to make Predator Plant Burden and Conda at the very end and send an Overload Fusion to go into um, your Cyber Darkness Dragon. It requires five Cyber Dark Effect monsters, which is a lot, but that's why you're using Sarayusha. That's why you're using cards, you know, um, like your Barca to sp just be able to spam the field so many times until you, like, you have to find the cards that you're looking for. Because this card with equip, it, let, it lets you send equips and have it omni negates. It's really crazy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go into our first Sarayusha. You want to leave one Coos out there for Synchro plays, though. Okay, Sarayusha's effect, you're going to draw. So now I'm looking at this hand. Remus, okay, that's you don't need that. Um, and you may think, like, oh, why did you keep Zephyro CLE? Don't you want to send that to the graveyard eventually? And yes, you do. Also, finding cards like Claw is really good. You get to discard it to add a Cyber Dark spell and trap, which in turn turns into, like, it equals like three or four cyber darks as you'll see in a second so this is like the best card that you can possibly draw in your cyber engine other than like kind of like the play starters which was at the very beginning you know with your cyber dark edge claw is your best friend all right so now we can go ahead and activate claw like i just said we're going to discard to add a cyber spell and trap and this is the new card i think that came out in the structure deck cyber dark realm when it's activated, you can add one Cyber Dark monster from your deck to your hand with a different name from the names in your graveyard. You also get to Normal Summon, although we're not going to use that effect. Just know that like a lot of them discard to add other things, and when they're sent to the graveyard, they add other things. So you get so much advantage from this card. So also, it's a good, you know, it's a continuous spell, as you can imagine. That's going to work really well with Zephyros. Okay, so now we can activate the, um, you know, the Cyber Dark World. We'll go ahead and add to our hand a Cannon, because this card lets you discard itself to add a Machine Cyber Dark monster. So, you know, off of that one card, the Claw, we're getting another one, which is getting us another one. And that other one that we're getting is going to be able to send the last piece of the Dragoon or the Cyber Dark engine that we need to. Because when this card's sent to the graveyard, you get the Foolish Burial Cyber Dark monster. So, again, I guess that is four. It equals four of your um, Cyber Dark monsters, which is super sick off of just one Claw. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and activate Ravine. We're going to pitch it. Because, uh, again, we're activating this multiple times. We don't, we don't need a Foolish Burial, actually, like, at all. Because we have all of our pieces soon, or we will, you know, at some point. And we're going to add a Legatus to our hand. It's just a, it's a level 4, which is what we need. It's a searchable level 4 to go into, you know, more Barca plays. That's why you're adding that card back to your hand. All right, Zephyros is going to, you know, bounce the Continuous Spell. Um, and it's a special summon itself. If you don't know what this card does, it's been around for a long time. If it's in the graveyard, and return a face-up card that you control to the hand. Special summon this card. And then you take... 400 damage so yeah sure cool all right so then we can activate the effect of white rose dragon this card is not seen frequently but yet here it is um you can special summon this card is if you control a dragon or a plant tuner which this is a dragon tuner and it's a you know it's a level four monster which is always a good thing now we can use the effect of the serial skull dread to special summon a car a monster from the hand that's going to be the chimera and once again, I think we can go ahead and go into a Barca. So Barca is going to equip all those cards again. It's going to be the same kind of lineup. Two Coos and the one Phalanx. Activate the effect of Coos to special summon. Activate the effect of Phalanx to summon. We're still going to have this one, but you know you don't have to worry about it. We'll special summon it in just a second. So we'll go into another Sarayusha here. And there we go. We're going to draw some more cards. And then you also want to chain link to activate Crimea in case, you know, if you did it backwards and you may like end up drawing into like whatever piece that you need then you can't discard it so make sure you're you know you're foolish burying will doing foolish burial effect with chimera to send the last cyber dark monster and then drawing the four cards okay so we're going to draw 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 um although truthfully like as i've gone back over the combo like this is what they do but you kind of have all the pieces that you need at this point interestingly enough although to be honest actually that's not true because you need to special summon from the hand that's a really i would say janky but you know you're probably drawing a lot more better cards than what i'm drawing i had like very condensed deck just to make this combo like happen the way that it did uh but you know maybe you draw into some hand traps and stuff but you, yeah you do need that secondary effect again of sarayusia to special summon this card from your hand um coos and you know haven't used that effect it was a quip and now it doesn't have to be 
activating the effect of Sarayuja to special summon that uh, Legatus, which we searched just a little bit earlier. And now we can convert these two into our first form of disruption, which is um, Artabir or <laughs> something like that, Artabear. Uh, basically, if your opponent activates a monster effect, you get to banish your Goonie, negate, and then banish their card too, so their monster, which is really nice. Um, now we can go into our last Barca. This is the third copy, but we're going to do a super Barca this time for a very specific reason. And, you know, make sure, obviously, you're going to have the, you know, the two Kooses, the one Phalanx, and that Synchro Monster from way long ago. Here it is. It's a Loon. Um, so it's going to gain that thousand attack, which is really cool, right? Um, all right. So now we can activate the effect of one of the Kus. You're actually not going to spam the field anymore. Um, basically, just so you can convert your Sarayuja and the Kus into a Predator Plant Bird Anaconda. And Predator Plant Bird Anaconda is going to send Cyberload Fusion to banish all those Cyber Darks that you sent to the graveyard earlier this turn. And you get to equip a Dragon Monster from the graveyard. And the crazy thing about this actually is um, it gains the attack of a Dragon Monster. Sarayuja is a Dragon Monster. So you basically get this huge, beefy Cyber uh, Darkness Dragon. I think I talked about it earlier, but when your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can send one equip card you control to the graveyard, negate, and destroy. I count five cards here. This is not a once per turn. This is essentially a herald of ultimateness, um, you know, when you really break it down. Plus, the monster negate is really just icing on the top, um, you know, for the, what this combo is. Five Omni negates. Uh, yeah, Dark World and more obviously, you know, kind of beats this board, uh, but so does it you know it does that in drytron too but yeah that was like a really complicated combo but is the by far the best thing i've ever seen cyber darks um produce no doubt i bet you this is pretty consistent i may like actually try to do some gameplay videos with this but i wanted to show this video first just because of how complicated the combo is let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below other than that that's going to do it for today's video and i will see you guys next time